Where's Daddy? Boo. <gasps> I got you, buddy. Who's that? Somebody would have said, give me your expectations at six months. He shattered them all. And I couldn't be more proud to watch him and mom interact. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're such a good boy. What is he doing? This is a perfect day for Paul and Michelle Tesori. Hours together with their six month old son, Isaiah, whose short journey has already been full of challenges. We have been so incredibly fortunate to be surrounded by people who just want to love on him and pray for our family. And that's courtesy of our friends at the PGA Tour. Tesori has been a caddy on tour for nearly 15 years, working now with 2012 US Open champion, Webb Simpson. I feel like he's one of the most experienced caddies out there. So that's why I rely on him more than you would typically see. And then off the course, we're just great friends. We have a lot of the same interests. We love just hanging out and watching sports. In January, Simpson headed to Hawaii to compete, but Paul had more important things to attend to. On the evening of January 4th, Paul and Michelle welcomed Isaiah Paul Tesori to the world. He just came out perfect, and I just wanted to see Isaiah light up Michelle's eyes, and that's exactly what's happened from day one. He looked perfect, but he wasn't making any noise. We very quickly went from a really joyous, our baby's here and he's perfect. Two, we know something's wrong and we know it's, we know it's not good. Isaiah was stable, but doctors believed he suffered a seizure and his tests also showed markers for Down syndrome. The biggest fear is you start hearing about things are wrong with his brain, then you hear about a heart valve, and then you hear about a seizure, and then Down syndrome, we put it all together, and it's like, okay, are we ever gonna see him again? They wheeled him in, and they opened up these little tiny windows in his incubator, and I was able to stick one finger in and just touch him. And I told our son, that as much as I loved him, God loved him infinitely more. I got to kiss his forehead, and right then he became my son. I was able to connect with him and say, hey, that's, that's, that's my boy right there. He's going to be OK. Isaiah was moved to Wolfson Children's Hospital in Jacksonville, Florida, where he could receive more specialized critical care in the neonatal intensive care unit. Paul came in that day. Right away, there was a bond. If I love you, Mama, you can give her a smile. Yeah, oh, boom. I was just excited because I saw this baby with a father that loved him so much, and you could see it just with him at the bedside. For us, it was our faith that held us together. No matter what happened with Isaiah, it was going to be for the best. While prayer kept the Tesoris in good spirits, it was a phone conversation with Webb Simpson that offered Paul a release just hours after his son's birth. He called me just crying and I was tearing up and I think, you know, just hearing, you know, my voice, uh, a familiar friend just kind of allowed him to kind of unload it all. With Isaiah on his mind, Simpson went out and fired a third round 68. Close friend Ted Scott, who usually caddies for Bubba Watson, carried Simpson's bag for the week. Scott paid tribute as well, writing Isaiah on his hat. It was uplifting for us. It gave us something to go forward. And so quickly, one of the most amazing things in my lifetime has happened, and that is the support that came from the PGA Tour. It was like nothing I've ever witnessed. We got notes and cards and gifts from tournaments all over the PGA Tour. Even Hyundai Tournament of Champions winner Zach Johnson couldn't hold back his thoughts minutes after his 11th Tour victory. I'm just thankful that I have my family with me and my prayers are certainly going to the stories. Um, that's where my heart was today. That's where my mind was a lot of the day. I just added perspective to my day. What we've learned is there's so much love and compassion in this golf family that we have and there's no better place or no better group of people to be surrounded by. Isaiah's health gradually improved. And after just six days, every test came back negative, except Down syndrome. 
I'm not gonna downplay Down syndrome and the struggles that these kids and parents do have, but we celebrated it. We couldn't have been more excited that that was all that we were left with. It's a blessing more than anything else. It didn't matter to us what the test said, what any of the upcoming tests were going to say. We knew that our baby was healthy enough to come home. The difference you guys make in families' lives, I don't think you probably get to realize how much it is, but it's incredible. You treat our children like they're your children. That's a hard thing to do. With Isaiah home and healthy, the family has looked to give back to the hospital NICU staff through the work of the Tesori Family Foundation. Every Friday, they offer massage therapist visits for healing hour. And each week, one meal is provided through Operation Feed Wolfson. Most recently, the foundation has developed Isaiah's Corner, an area in the NICU with plenty of supplies for parents. I can never repay, doesn't matter what we're able to do, but to be able to give back to Wolfson, it's very personal for us, and that hospital will never be far from our heart. 27 and a quarter. That's right, you're so tall. Isaiah is progressing exactly the way a six-month-old baby should progress. He's just a miracle. He's a huge blessing for us. Isaiah is the centerpiece and just the whole story about love, about family, about friends, about the tour, and about helping somebody else in need. And he did more in six months than I'll be able to do my entire life. 